welcome back to my art demos. Today I'm going to use a canvas and I intend to do a meadow scene <clears throat> using plenty of texture. So I have various textures to choose from today. I have glass beads texture gel, black lava texture gel, sand texture gel and just texture paste which is like modelling paste. So I'm going to grab a, a spatula or a, um, a painting knife and get cracking. applied some sand texture paste and it's got a lovely gritty feel to it and I'm sort of modelling it really into grassy um, shapes at the bottom here and just a lot of texture for the background not too detailed just plenty for the paint to sink around and um, just create a bit of interest so I'm going to leave that to dry and I might add some glass beads to the foreground which will kind of create more of an impression of pollen and flowers and that sort of thing. Okay this is ready, it's dry so I'm going to start applying some colour. So I've been playing with some colours here to see which ones I want to use. It's best to decide if you want to go with cool colours or warm colours. So I will start with wash, starting from the top, working my way down. out putting in the darker green I have used so far in case you wanted to know island blue crafters acrylic paint for the sky I've been using a mixture of a pea green spray I made myself um, but it's very close to vivid lime green by liquitex and uh, that's what I've been using to do sort of tree line area. I'm using lemon yellow for which is uh, who's that by? It's acrylic ink um, by Dana Rowney. And then I've painted in some hookers green, uh, also by Dana Rowney. And then I've just kept on dribbling layers down the page and spraying it with water to help the paint move around a bit better. So I've got this lovely sort of um, dribbled marbling effect towards the bottom. Uh, I will be com covering some of it over when I'm painting in flowers and stuff but um, it's there. So um, that's just to make up for the fact that I managed to lose some, some of the uh, footage in, um, well didn't record the dark green layer. Right I'm going to go in now with some trees in the background here using some hookers green on my palette knife. 
And what I want to do really is just scrape over that um, that texture that I put in earlier, the um, sand texture paste, in a sort of tree line shape. Where you get clumps that are too thick or too dark, um, with not enough blue showing through, you can always add in bits of blue afterwards because this Crafters Acrylic Blue, um, this one is quite opaque, so it should work. So a lot of this texture that's just put down randomly underneath the sand texture paste um, is doing work for you now, um, picking out the um, branches in amongst the tree and making your imagination do do the work so it can be sort of combination of bushes shrubs and trees in the background <laughs> enough now. So when that's dry I will add a bit more blue in there but actually there is some green that seems to have escaped up into the sky a bit so I will I think I'll get rid of that. Blot it from view. Just to echo some of the intensity of that dark green, I'm going to add a bit more into the foreground, seeing as those trees are actually in the background, they in theory ought to be paler really, but um, to pull, pull the colours together I'll add a bit more in, in the foreground, just where all the shadow from the grasses falls. Right, now this is sufficiently dried, I, uh, I can come in with the fun bit now. So if you imagine looking your field of vision through lots of the poppies, they all clump together further off in the distance and then sort of spread out as they're coming towards you. So that's what I'm aiming to achieve. Again, letting the palette knife do uh, most of the work by skimming across the textured ground already put down. Um, so let's have a go at that, shall we? And I'll speed it up for you. Okay, where the red is skimming over the texture, I I need more solid amount of red there to denote layers of um, thickly, well thickly sort of clumped patches of poppies in the distance. <laughs> up rubbing out a lot of the red I applied to me because I wasn't happy with the um, composition it was a bit too congested and clumped up around here so I just washed it off really just applied a load of spray and washed it down and then where any white was showing I added back in some green and yellow I'm going to carry on from where I left off. Um, and do you know what I was thinking? That although I have been going with the cadmium red because it's warm, 
I might introduce a tiny bit of pink into the mix because it seems to go quite well. So I'll have a play with that. Also, I haven't added any glass texture beads yet, so I might do that now. better I'm gonna wait for the glass beads to dry and for the red to dry and I might put in a few accents of pink in there um, I'm gonna finish up for today because the lights changed I'm now in artificial light not any daylight so I'll pick up tomorrow okay so next day and it's beautiful and bright and sunny out there so plenty of natural light for me so back to the drawing board I say I will put in some pink now. Um, not quite feeling as brave as I was last night, but so water and tissue to the ready just in case I don't like it. It might just be a bit too overwhelming with colour, uh, but it's sort of rainbow like in effect overall. So many colours. But let's try. You'll never know if you don't try. <laughs> Right, I'm going to finish up now, I'm running out of time, so uh, all I have to do now is put in a bit of the blue back into the tree area here, just, um, just a few little glimpses of the sky through the tree, and I want to put a bit of, I want to put a bit of blue in, um, in amongst the grass, just because the sky, um, the blue sky here is a bit isolated, the colour is, needs to be echoed elsewhere in the, um, in the painting, just for balance. Okay, I'm going to sign it and then I'm done. Okay, I've signed that discreetly in the corner with red. And uh, that's done, I think. Um, I will put this painting up for sale on my Etsy shop um, and put the link below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully it will have inspired you to have a go yourself, of course. Um, get your spatula out, use some texture paste, use a canvas, put your art on display. Or if you're really pleased with it, um, put it on sale. Um, so enjoy yourselves having a go. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.